Hi guys, I'm back again. And this time, I'm in a different location. I thought I would come to you from the comforts of my own home. So basically, today I've been talking about it for a while and it is finally time to give to you guys the new program that I'm starting. So it is a strength and mass building program. So we're coming into winter, the cold season's coming, the jumpers are coming out, the coats are coming on. It is time to not worry about that super beach body and time to get some serious gains. So, I've designed my new program. This is specific to me personally and uh, working on the areas that I want to improve. So feel free to take this workout program as a base and then you guys can either change bits you want to change or or just adapt in the way that will suit you or even suit the, the gym that you train in. Some of the exercises I'm doing you may not have the luxury of being able to do in your gym so you may have to just adapt slightly to just to, to work with the equipment that you've got because you may not always have everything or you may not like certain exercises. But as we all know, there is more than one way to hit a specific area that you're trying to, trying to train. So don't worry about too much of the exact exercises that I'm gonna do. Um, you are more than welcome to follow through step by step exactly what I'm doing, that is why I'm telling you guys exactly what I'm doing, but you're more than welcome to change anything that you want to. So before I get started, this video may split into two. If this gets too long, then obviously there's not a lot going on. I don't want it to get too boring for you. So if need be, I'll split this into two, but I will put these out back to back. So whenever you're watching me right now, if it isn't in one video, you'll catch me at the same time tomorrow. So tune in for that one if it's available, or you might just all get it in one. But me babbling on like this isn't helping a thing. So I've designed this program to work on weak areas of, of again, of myself, um, and really to hit some specific goals that I want to achieve over the next really year, to, uh, it works out about 15 months now. If I was to do a show in 2018, I would want roughly five months to prep for it. Um, so it takes me from about 15 months from right this second. And I'm building up calories as I go, so I won't be straight into a surplus from day one. I'll be building up into it. But however, I'm going to start the program straight away because I want to see that progression as my calories go up, I want to see that progression in my lifts and see how my body's reacting to everything. So I'm starting it all at the same time so I can get a perfect recipe for exactly what worked good for me at this time. So, the first thing I want you guys to do is grab a pen and paper. Good, now you've got a pen and paper. I want you to get this. Get yourself a black book. Now, you if you feel stupid walking in, one, you shouldn't feel stupid. You know, this is for your own benefit, so don't worry about what other people think or say, but even if you want to write it down on, on your phone, you know, I don't mind people using their phones in the gym if it's for the right reasons. If you're marking down or writing down exactly what you're doing or your time in your, your rest times, etc., then that's fine if you're just texting away and not really paying any attention and spending 10 minutes on your phone and hogging a machine while other people want to use, then I've got a problem with you. So don't do that. But get yourself a black book. In here you can log everything that you want to do. Obviously I've done a video uh, called, you know, the five gym bag musts. So check that out, that's got my five and a bonus one of exactly what I think you, everyone who is taking it really seriously should have. But first we're gonna get a black book. And the first thing we're gonna write in our black book is we're gonna note down the goals that we want to achieve. So for myself, I wanna start gaining some good strength. So I've done my lifting goals and I've done deadlifts, squats, military press, bench press, and incline dumbbell press. 
Now that is because it is my favorite exercise of all. Love an incline dumbbell press. So they are my five lifts that I, that I want to improve on. So I wrote down my goal weights so I know if I'm heading in the right direction. So once we've done that, I want you guys to do either measurements, be it measuring your body, or weighing yourself, or photos, take some kind of, of measurement that you, can, that you can hold yourself accountable for as of the day you start this program. And then you're gonna lock that away, keep that to the side, and then when you are ready, you can obviously bring it back out and see your progression, okay? If you're not progressing, then something would have to change. And just remember, I'm not gonna go into detail on this now, but you cannot out-train a bad diet. So it doesn't matter how good and perfect you are in the gym, if you are not eating to help supplement your training, then the goals that you're looking for, they're just not gonna happen, okay? If you're trying to bulk, but you're eating 600 to 1,000 calories less than you need to to gain weight, you're never gonna gain weight, okay? So that is a complete separate video that I'll go into a lot more detail with. But as for today, you've now, you've got your black book, you've taken your, your photos, your measurements, your weight, however you wanna do it, all three or any other ways that you guys want to, to hold yourself accountable for in a type of measurement or, or like I say photos, anything like that. So you've done that. So now we're moving on to the actual program itself. So the, this program is designed, it's got four hypertrophy weeks. Now hypertrophy basically just means muscle building. Okay, so you've got four muscle building hypertrophy weeks then it's gonna be followed by a strength week. And then from that strength week, we're gonna do a deload week. Now, I read a book, you should definitely check it out. It's a really, really good book, and it's got follow-on books as well. It is Bigger, Leaner, Stronger by uh, Michael Matthews. Excellent book, and this is the way he sets up his programs with four hypertrophy weeks, one strength, one deload. So it's kind of like a six week cycle and on this program we're gonna do this six week cycle for three whole cycles. So, you know, six, 12, 18. This is gonna be an 18 week cycle until then we can either change our goals if you only want to do it for that long and then change or you can change the type of exercises you guys are doing you can change, you know, anything you want to do, change programs, whatever. But we're going to do four, one, one. Now, I'm going to go through the four hypertrophy weeks with you now, and then we're going to move on to, to how we're going to do the strength week and, and also why we do the strength week and why we do the deload week, okay? So, finally, exercise or workout day number one is going to be chest and shoulders. So it's gonna be like kind of a push day just without the triceps or the squats if you're looking at a, a whole body uh, scenario. So we're doing just chest and shoulders. Now I'm using the principal training method. So my upper chest, albeit strong, it isn't as developed as other parts of my chest. So I'm gonna train that when I'm freshest. So I'm gonna hit incline, which is my favorite, dumbbell bench press first. Now, we are obviously, this is, I'll do a whole separate video on, on warm-ups to these. You know, you need, to, you need to warm your body up, especially now winter's coming here where I am in England. Um, you definitely need to get that blood pumping around your body, warm up your joints and the muscles and the opposing muscles that you're gonna be using. Okay, so our first exercise is gonna be an incline dumbbell bench press. Now we're looking at strength and mass building here. So we're gonna hit a rep range of six to eight. Now the eight is into hypertrophy and the six is that borderline between hypertrophy and strength. So we're really utilizing, especially these are the lifts that I want to progress on. And also they are big, strong compound lifts. So we are really working that um, strength 
and mass building kind of profile from the very first exercise of the week, okay? So, incline dumbbell bench press. You can do this with barbells if you need to, that's fine, but in my program, it's gonna be dumbbells. From then, we're moving on to the traditional one, most people's favorite, but a flat, flat, flat bench press. Now again, we're gonna to stick to the six to eight rep range. And for both of these exercises, we're gonna to stick to four sets. So we're gonna do four sets on the incline dumbbells, four sets on the flat bench. Again, hitting six to eight on both exercises. So that is working our chest, and it is a chest and shoulder day, and we wanna keep those compound lifts in for our shoulders as well, so we wanna be nice and fresh. So our second exercise is gonna be a reverse shoulder press. Now, it's safer to do this on a Smith machine with the seat back up. The reason we do it this way is because it ties in the top of your chest and your front delts. It's gonna pull these in together and really build that thickness in your shoulders and upper chest, right where your clavicle is, which is these bones here, your collarbones. You're gonna try and build the thickness from here. Everybody loves big shoulders and a big upper chest. So that's why we're holding it this way. Really isolates that front delt compared to a normal military press, which will hit a lot more of all three heads, really. It's a, it's a big compound lift. This is isolating more of your front delt. So reverse grip, Pushing up. Again, four sets of this, but we're gonna do this more of just focusing on hypertrophy, so you're gonna be looking at eight to 10 reps each set. From there, we're gonna move on to our first superset. So we're gonna do a low to high cable fly. Okay, so you're gonna set the cables down, and you're going to do, like I said, a low to high. This is, again, working your upper chest. So, for example, if you didn't have the cables, you could always just do incline um, incline dumbbell flies, still working that upper chest, okay? But we're gonna go from there, straight in to a cable press. Now, again, if you haven't got cables, what I want you to do is I want you to, uh, is where you did the incline bench, I just want you to sit the bench up one or two notches and then do the pressing from there. So now you're focusing on basically like 50 50 of the chest and the shoulders really come into play because you're right on that borderline of you're not quite working either okay you're you're not quite focusing on just one sorry you're you're working both so we're going to do a low to high incline cable fly into a cable incline press okay and we're going to do those for three sets and you're looking at 10 to 12 reps of each exercise back to back so literally one into the other. That's one, you can do that around three times, okay? From there, we're gonna stick with shoulders, we're gonna hit normal side raises, lateral side raises, really working on this medial head. So of the shoulder, you've got three different heads. You've got the anterior, which is the front, you've got the medial, which is the side, and you've got the posterior, which is the back. So for the first exercises that target, targeted the shoulders, you're working the front delt, the anterior delt, for these side raises, you're gonna be focusing on your medial delt, and you're gonna superset them with rear delt flies. So either bending over, rear delt flying, maybe reverse on a pec deck. You could even use the cables and do like a reverse crossovers like that. So this will hit the posterior head, so you are targeting all three of the heads in your shoulder. Also, a really good point and a really important point is where we're doing so much pressing, that is gonna tighten all the front of our body here and pull, pull our shoulders in. And you see a lot of people, they can their shoulders can curve and arch round. So we're gonna strengthen this posterior head of your shoulder to pin those shoulders back and really stretch out the chest. So that there guys, that is exercise day that is the first day of our new program, okay? So that is one, that is in the book, ready to go. Day two. So we're gonna go from chest and shoulders straight down to legs. Day two is the leg day. Now, not as many exercises in this because we're gonna be hitting a lot of a heavier weight and we're gonna, I nearly told you, I nearly sport, I nearly sport surprise. We're gonna hit, obviously, 
first exercise once we've warmed up, the back squat. Everyone loves a back squat. So, four sets, six to eight reps. From there, move straight on, keeping with the quads, gonna do a leg press, okay? But with this, we're gonna keep our feet slightly narrower. So I did do a video a long time ago explaining uh, how to do the squat. And what I said basically was the closer your feet are, the more outer sweep of our quads, okay? So the wider your feet are, the more inner. Obviously neutral is gonna work all of your quad, and, but we're gonna really focus on trying to build that width. Because it's the same, obviously this is tailored to myself. I really wanna start building those wider, wider, thicker legs. So, I'm gonna keep my feet closer, and this will help work on the outer sweep of my quads. I'm gonna do four sets, I'm gonna to stick to an eight to 10 rep range, because we're not looking for as much strength here, we're looking at building muscle, so we're gonna stick in those hypertrophy sort of uh, rep range, and we're gonna do eight to 10. From there, we are gonna move straight on to straight leg deadlifts. Now, you can do things like leg curls, like heavy leg curls, but nothing, personally, nothing beats a straight leg deadlift when really trying to focus and work on your hamstrings, especially when it comes to, to strength and mass building. So we're gonna do four sets, and we're gonna stick to a six to eight rep range. Again, we're looking at strength and, uh, yeah, strength and hypertrophy here. So one key point, they're called straight leg deadlifts, but please do not lock out your legs. You'll have a slight bend in your knees and then fix your legs isometrically tight. Hold them down, up, keeping your back straight. I will do a whole video on how to do straight leg deadlifts properly, but just make sure that if you need to, you belt up, but you do not lock your knees out. From there, we are moving on, sticking with the hamstrings, moving straight on to leg curls. You can either do these laying, seated, single, does not matter, but you're gonna do a variation of a leg curl. You're gonna do these for three sets and stick to 10 to 12 reps. Okay, from there, we're now gonna go into more of a, like a high volume, which I think legs respond well to quite a high volume training. So you're gonna do three sets uh, back to back of leg extensions and leg curls, be a different type of machine on leg curls, that's fine and you're gonna do three sets of 15. But with these, you're gonna do them back to back to back. So you're gonna do extension, curls, extension, curls, extension, curls. That is three rounds, that is your, your one massive giant set, if you wanna break it down that way, rather than three sets. And obviously if you've got a training partner, one of you will start on curls, one of you will start on extensions, and you will literally just keep swapping until your overall six sets all together is completed. That is leg day one. Of course, we're gonna hit calves after, but I am gonna talk about calf training slightly separate at the end of these videos. So guys, I'm not sure where this is split. I'm not sure if I have split this into one or split this into two yet. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but if I'm talking to you right now and you're listening, it means the video was too long. So I have chucked this little goodbye and keep an eye out because tomorrow this will be following on with exactly the rest of the program for you guys. And you know, you just, you need to get the whole program. You can't just have half. You need to come and get the whole program. So same time tomorrow, we'll see you with the rest of the program. So stay tight, hit the thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you tomorrow.